You'll just be making noise. I don't have any open. <laughs> good evening, good evening. Excuse my arm. <laughs> Let me get this so I can see it. Good. There we go. Good evening on this extra day of the year. A fun little leap year day. Hi, Deborah. So tonight, what I am going to do is create a folio. Oh. My computer is not playing nice tonight. There we go. Hi, Patricia. Um, tonight I'm going to create a folio out of um, this, uh, the, the 49 and Martin Foundation's Jagged Flip Folio Book. I don't see that or not. There we go. Um, flip Folio. Usually what these are for is you put them inside of a base. Hi, Kim. Uh, you put them inside a base for your pages, but you can also just make a folio right out of this rather than having to have a base. So it's great to make um, like little ones, say for uh, a shower, a gift, or like a Mother's Day gift, or like grandparents, or uh, for Father's Day, you could give them a little book too, birthdays, whatever you like. Or if you just want to have a few pictures and you just want to put them together in a pretty little folio. Hey, Linda. Um, that's what this is all about. So in this kit or in this package, there is um, this piece, which is the base. Uh, or what do they call it? Um, a jagged enclosure. That's what they call it. So it's like got a flip here and a flip here and a flip here and a flip here. And then these are kind of, these have like, they're scored and they have like maybe a quarter of an inch leeway and it's called jagged because you know, the edges are all jagged. So you get one of those. Um, you get three of these, which are like a waterfall uh, for a waterfall. Um, they call it, just call them jagged pages to create additional flaps but I am going to use them kind of like a waterfall and you get three but I got lucky in this package I got four <laughs> so maybe you'll get lucky too if you buy one of these packages you'll get four as well but usually there's only three but I got four so I'm going to use all four of them and then you also get these pieces which are called spine pieces and so these you would use if you were going to put these into um a base a uh, carb like a, a a harder base and you would just fold them kind of in half like this then you would take this and you would put it say in your in your binder like this and then you could like flip it out like this see I don't know if that makes sense but anyway but I'm so I'm not going to do that and I'm not going to use these so I'm going to put those aside out of my way and like these are really good price point it's 7.89 and it's like you get all the, these pieces and then what I'm also using is the simple stories simple vintage spring garden some of the papers and so I've already cut them all out to size um, and I've also used um, my vintage photo distress ink and a blender brush and I just distressed around the edges and it just gives it that little more little bit more antique -y 
kind of look. And I only did it on the front because the back, you're not going to see it because it'll be against the black folder. And I cut out some tags and um, one from one of the tag pages. You get a bunch of tags and some other things I will show you in a little bit. All right. So I've got my little sticky notes on here telling me what's what. <laughs> so, um, oh, I'm also going to use magnets and what else some ribbons and twine and all that kind of fun stuff so i guess first of all because i want this is going to be my front piece and you can make this as elaborate or as simple as you want now i didn't grab any of the um any they are beautiful papers i didn't grab any of the ephemera pieces so um, it's going to be pretty simple. I did cut out some um, pieces from some of the papers to kind of if I wanted to pop them up I might if not I'm not too sure. So then I grabbed a bunch of ribbon and I want I'm going to tie my book like put some ribbon on to tie my book closed just in case um, I want to it gets a little bulky. So I'm just and if you're like me, I got so much ribbon in my stash, it's just not even funny. I got rid of a bunch, but I still have a whole bunch. <laughs> um, so I think I will... And like I've got pom-pom ribbon and some minty ribbon. Just trying to see what's pretty here. Well, that kind of looks nice. Then I've got some of this um, looks like antique ribbon. I don't know what you call it, but that might look nice on one of the pages inside. It's kind of vintagey, I guess. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to use these two pieces. And you're going to want to put your ribbons on before you put your papers on. Otherwise, it won't you won't you won't have to take your papers off. Ask me how I know. Okay. So, put that over there for now, and I'm going to use some tape. Some of my score tape, which is awesome. And you just want to make sure, hair everywhere, don't get too close to the edge with your score tape because you, with this tape, with this, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, the jagged edge, there, that might be a little better. Oh, good, Lori. <laughs> I need to inspire people. Yeah, and if you guys inspire, are inspired by me, I'm totally inspired by you too. Um, if you see the jagged edge, so y you can't really, well, you could put your paper right up against it and cut it jagged like that, but, uh, I did not do that. So I just want to make sure I don't get the tape too close to the edge. Otherwise you'll see it through the ribbon. Hopefully, well, maybe you wouldn't, but so I just want to make sure I get it kind of further in. So, and I want to put, and I kind of put it in the middle as in the middle as I think it's it is you know if you know what I'm saying I'm just eyeballing it you could measure if you wanted to um, and I'm cutting a, some longer pieces so that um, I can stick my ribbon in fairly far so that uh, so that it doesn't like come off or anything. Okay, so I put some on the back and I put some on the front. And Okay, use some put this here and you just make it as long. I'm going to put it there so that it has a good hold on. So like when I put my paper on, so you can't see the it'll hold it really well. And then I want to put a green piece on too. So I'm going to put extra piece over top. And 
and then when I put my paper on I'm going to put more tape on top of it just to make it stick. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. Depending how often you open and close this too will depend how much adhesive you want on it. Hi Kelly. Okay, I'll put that on. Cool. All right. So then, when you're ready, you'll just tie it up, and it'll look pretty. I'll tie it after I'm done. <laughs> All right. So that's for that ribbon. I might need and want more inside. I'm not sure yet. Okay. So then I'm going to put some more on top because I'm going to put my paper on now. And I just want ribbon or tape on top of the ribbon. And then I can just, I can use glue for the rest of, I'm just going to tape it down really good because I want it to stay. I don't want my ribbon going anywhere. This would be good to do also if, uh, for a baby book a new baby book. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on my paper. And now, and I apologize, I forgot to write down the names of these papers, but you can get this in a collection kit or you can get the single pages if there's any left. Um, so that's, I just bought some single pages. I didn't buy the whole collection kit, so... that down take that off oops oh no <laughs> was sticking on the back here on the little piece of tape so that's the front now I um, like this is one piece so up up here was all um, the, the rest of this goes right to the top and over here it was this cream color so I just took the piece with the picture on it and I really like that, so I don't even need to do any more. So I may want, once I decide what kind of folio it's going to be, I may want to put on, like, Baby's First Christmas or My First my first Year, or you may want to put a title on, or you may not. You may just want to leave it like that. Um, okay, so let me find my back panel. Here it is. So here's my back panel. I love this. This is the back of this paper. So this was over here like that. And so that's the back of it. It's so pretty. It's like right up Linda Pilgrim's alley, I think. <laughs> it's very vintagey and very I don't know. I really I really like it. Hi Linda. Hope everyone's doing good tonight. Thank you everyone for joining me as well. I appreciate it. Spending your evening with me. Okay, I'm just going to put some of the glue on this one. on the back in the middle and that's left a little bit of a border around the edges you can do that too like for the back or you can just um, you can just uh, put it right flush with everything so these little bottles are really cool too oh really Linda cool I have a friend whose birthday is today too um, I can't remember how old she actually is. She's in her 50s, but I don't know how old she would be if you only counted her leap years. <laughs> maybe maybe 10. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting day. And I heard on the radio, I think there's only like 3 million people in the whole world that have this day as their actual birthday. 
it's very rare to have um, to have a child right on the 29th. So I wonder how many babies were born today. Should ask my daughter. <laughs> oh, great, Linda! I figured you would have this because this is totally you. Um, anyway, I was explaining about these. These are um, little bottles are from Gina K. And they have these silicone um, tops and they have a really fine tip. So if you are needing um, a fine tip for your glue, you get three in a pack and I think they're like nine something. Um, the tip, it very rarely gets plugged. Um, and I do put my tip on quite a bit um, after I'm finished. Um, or if you put it on the side like that, it doesn't get plugged. It's it. They're really cool. Or we also got, and I didn't mention that I was gonna gonna mention this. We also got the My Sweet Petunia glue guns. These are super cool too. So if you have any trouble with your hands for gluing or anything, um, it comes with a full glue bottle of the Nouveau glue, and then it comes with an empty bottle, so you could fill it with your art glitter glue or whatever. And if you have any problems with your hands or anything, this is really easy to squeeze and you just uh, squeeze it out. I'm not using it tonight, but I'm showing you guys, sorry. And it comes with this stand, which has a silicone thing right in the bottom. So you, when you put your glue down without the top on, it sits right on top of that silicone and it won't um, dry up if you're not putting the lid on right away. It's it's really cool and I know they're very extremely popular so if you want one you need to go get one right now or after my video <laughs> okay is yeah it's pretty cool oh thanks yeah the little blue bottles they work good too and they're they work just like the my sweet petunia and they're easy to handle as well so like if you can't if it's not the my um, glue gun isn't in your budget these definitely are awesome and can can uh, help you out for until the glue gun is in your budget okay so on this page <clears throat> I am going to put this uh, piece of paper on and the whole sheet of paper is like this this kind of muted paisley rose paper it's really cool and then on the back this is the journal or this is the front I guess this is the journal cards but I use this side instead so um, and then I also uh, cut a little pocket which I'm going to put a I cut a little pocket from the my leftovers from this page Yes, these ones, yeah, I just I just filled these with my art glitter glue. Um, yeah, with this art glitter glue. Just fill it in there and just keep filling it until, like every time it goes low. Yeah, it's cool. <clears throat> it's really, really cool. Or any, whatever glue you use. I use the art glitter glue, um, but whatever glue you use, you can fill it with that for sure. Okay, so I cut a little pocket, so I'm just going to I'm going to put that on right now because this piece isn't quite as long as this page and I want to make sure I get it tucked into my pocket properly. So I'm going to put some tape on my pocket. This is the quarter inch, quarter inch score tape. I love this tape. It like sticks like there's no tomorrow. So you want to make sure when, where you're putting it down, that's where it goes. one too long oh well okay and I'm just gonna add some glue to my tape 
just so that if I do miss where I want to put it, I have that little bit of wiggle room. I think it'll be alright. I hope it'll be alright. <laughs> Okay, that was a little trickier than I thought it would be to get on. There we go. Am I crooked? My screen crooked? It looks crooked. Oh. There, that's better. Okay, so now I'll stick this on just inside. I don't have to uh, worry about if I put it up too high or too low. Tuck that in. There's the pocket. Now I could have taken a a circle punch and put a little notch there, but uh, for now that'll do. Um, okay, so then this inside panel, flip and uh, do this side. So again, I have this uh, fun page which is the same as this page on the back. I want it to kind of look cohesive. So I'm just going to put this right on there. it open and I'm going to put the another one on this side. That's that same that I used on the front only I'm using this side. I know I'm putting the prettiest side on the inside but <laughs> I had to talk myself into it. But I wanted it to all look the same. I'm weird like that. Okay, so then from the journal pages, um, I cut out this one. Now, if you know me, I love ladybugs. Oh, sorry, I keep missing the questions. <laughs> Thanks, Linda, for helping me out. Um, this one is a quarter inch. This one, I believe this one's a three quarter inch. Looks like it is. It's not quite, or it's a half inch. It's a half inch or a three quarter inch. I think it's three quarters. Um, okay. So if you know me, I like ladybugs. So I cut this out of the journal page cause I wanted to make sure I used it. And what I'm going to use it for is just a little pocket corner pocket. So I'm just going to put tape on two sides and I think that's where I want it because I don't want it here because it'll be weird. So I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to use my quarter inch tape. I'm just doing it on two corners because it's just a little corner pocket. Now if you don't want to do this that's okay too. You can just put a nice couple pictures here. That's fine too. I like to have pockets in my folios to hold hold things like say um, journal cards or pictures. You put more pictures in there or like ticket stubs or um, anything like that. I'm just going to tuck that into the corner like so. See, you can like stick some paper in there. 
you're writing a story, you can stick that in there. You can put a picture up here and stick some stuff in there. Whatever you like. Okay, so that's that page. Now we're going to go to the middle. Um, <clears throat> so I want to add um, some magnets to here. So just so that they hold. It holds close. You don't have to add magnets. You could add ribbon here as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just have some, I don't know where I got these magnets. And I don't know if um, Class Act sells magnets or not. They might sell the um, um, 49 and Market magnets maybe? I don't know if anybody from Class Act is on tonight. But anyway, um, if they do have magnets, you can get them there. Um, okay, and what's cool is my mat will hold them nice and steady <laughs> because it's a magnet mat. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to put it on first because I want to cover them with my... Um, I'm going to put two on at once. I'm going to cover them with the designer paper. So then you can't even see them. So I'm putting two on at once. I'll hold it up so you guys can see. Hopefully my tape will hold it good. And hopefully that's up high enough or low enough. I think so. Okay. So, oops, sorry. I just, I put two on. If you can see, I put two. So I know which is the right and the negative. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yeah, so the ones that are at um, Class Act are probably bigger than this one, which would be even better because then you wouldn't need three. <clears throat> um, okay, so then what I'm going to do, take some more tape. I'm just going to cover up this magnet, this one, with some tape, whoops, I don't know if that's going to work, that's not going to work, because it's going to stick to the other, well, I needed a, I should have used a glue dot I think, on this side. I want those to come apart, silly head. What not to do? That's what you'll learn from me every week, or every time I'm on. <laughs> what not to do? Bye, Sandra. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. All good. Um, okay, I'm going to get some glue dots. Instead, hopefully these ones aren't too huge. They're pretty huge. I think they'll work. Should have just put some glue on. Maybe that would have worked better. Okay. I apologize. I am just making a mess here. Trying to get this. Oh no. It's just stick to my finger. Those are really sticky glue dots, I'm telling you. 
here's hoping they stick when they sh where they really should go. There, okay. Okay. They're your nemesis, nemesis Linda? <laughs> I think they're becoming mine, too, because honestly. Okay, so I'm going to close this so I know exactly where my magnets should go. And I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want my tape to be sticking down. Oh, ta-da! Yay! <laughs> All right. So now I push those down. Those ones are up there. Okay. So I'm going to put these pieces on first so that I get them covered up. So with these two pieces, I was kind of running short on um, papers. So what I did was I left the... Um, the UPC strip on and on this side it's totally got a picture of what's on the other side of the paper so I just left that up there and this one too the simple guard this one's picked for you so I left it on there and because I'm not you're not gonna see that side so why not so I'm gonna put that on there I think I'm gonna use tape along the top just to make sure it stays down over those magnets and on the side. Okay, and then put some glue. Perfect. And then this one I don't have to worry about, so I'm going to put this one on next. I'll go like that. This one I can just glue on. And this one has quite the jagged edge right there so you have to kind of watch where you cut your paper or you can cut it so it's jagged like that but there, that's cool okay flip that up okay so then I have these two for the bottom we're getting there ladies we're getting there um, here and on the other side just want to make sure that so it does nothing gets if it pops up it doesn't get caught underneath or it won't pop up because the magnets are a little higher than the paper and those glue dots are just humongous okay put some glue on here that one so then they'll stick together if you can hear that little click magnets okay so then down here flip this up for you guys to see what I'm doing it's gonna put this one on this one's um, from the cut aparts as well the journal cards I really wanted to use the journal cards too, but I really like the other side and I only grabbed one sheet <laughs> and I didn't have a chance to get to the store again 
when it was open. So I had to make do. There we go. It's so pretty. Looks crooked, but maybe it is. Quick, move it in. There we go. A little bit of wiggle room. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to do the middle. And I'm just going to tuck that under because it's in my way. Um, so what I want to do first before I put this piece on is I want to put my um, these pieces on. So I'm just going to score this or fold this one over. And like these pieces all come pre-scored. You just got to like score them and fold them over and score them. So I'm going to do a little, I call it a roundabout waterfall. And these should fit in here. I thought I measured it. it. Might be a little bit too big. I wonder if I should trim them down. The two. I'm going to just trim these two up just a smidge. They're a smidge. They won't, my book won't fold nice. If I leave it. There. Like I said, just a smidge. Smidge, smidge. Just so it fits in there perfectly. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put tape. 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 This tape. I think this one might be too wide. That, that'll be okay because I'm going to cover it with paper. Oh no, it's perfect. So maybe this is a half inch tape. Okay. So I'm going to put one along the top. Put some glue on it. Give me a little bit of wiggle room. I'm sorry, I've got to pull it down so I can see what I'm doing. One along the top, okay. Oh, where was that one I cut? Almost mixed my guys up here. Whew. That would have been crazy. glue and then I'm going to put him along the bottom not right up against the bottom just so that it will close nicely okay and then these two are going to go in the middle okay put that on Tape was too short. I'm just going to go kind of in the middle, and you just want to make sure you don't get that. Whoops, that um, your little spine piece. Because I got four in this kit, like I said, you usually only get three. You could do the same thing. You could put the bottom one over on this side and have like two flap out and one flip up. Or you could put like all of them in the middle to make a waterfall. Uh, whatever, whatever you like. But I'm going to put four in because I got four in the kit. doesn't have to be exactly where the other one is, but I'm trying to just get it in the middle. 
Ooh, wow, that was pretty close. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so I got those in there. So they're going to go, um, it's going to go like this. So kind of like a, I don't know, what did I call it? A roundabout waterfall. So then I can put my paper in now. I believe I cut it short enough. Yeah. So it will cover all these icky little lines or icky little um, tabs. too wide. Okay. My glue is forgiving to me. Holy smokes. Let me cut this smidge off. Put some more glue on. Hopefully it'll hold it. I may need to put tape on it. I should have used my bigger bottle, I think, because I don't... Uh, I need it all over the paper, not just on a little pieces of the paper. Oh well. That's better. There we go. Okay, that's better. And then I have, of course, my flat pieces. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, where, where do we at? Eight, twelve. Okay. I want to show you what this looks like. Well done. So I'm going to put my flat pieces on. Not this side. Don't be. This side's not going to fold down nice. I put it too far over. You know, this would never happen if 10 people weren't watching me. <laughs> okay. Oh well, it is what it is, right, ladies? It'll, it'll still work. Okay, so these ones I cut out of the 4x6 papers. So this was a 4x6 sheet. I'll put that down here. And then on this side, I'm going to use the back side of my 4x6. This was one of the 4x6s. I, I really like this side, so I'm going to use this one. And you gotta watch when you're if you're doing this um, and you're using the four by sixes, which way the four by six goes. So some go vertical, some go horizontal. Hi Bella. I'm I'm making uh, I'm showing the ladies what not to do. So then this one is from the journal pages. I just I needed an extra sheet, so I used that. Um, I think I'll put it on the top. Oh, I put my flower up the right way. These ones I could have cut them a smidge bigger, but that's okay. If you want, you could have put some washi tape here, some ribbon whatever you like. And so then this is like a four by six that way, but I really didn't want it to be um, Eastery looking. So I didn't use this guy. I know. I like, I like this side. Uh, they look like they go, I don't know. Okay. So those two pieces are done. And now we'll do the top. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. They are fun because you can make them however you want. You don't have to buy a ready-made one and 
make it fit. Make your stuff fit it. You can make this folio whatever. And like this is just like out of pages that should go in a folio. So it's even even better. More economic. Okay. I like that one. I really like this one. So I used it. It's a four by six from the page. Then on this side, there was the bingo card. I'm like, bingo? What does bingo have to do with spring? But <laughs> I'm not using the bingo card, so I'm using this lovely side. I think all my insides are going to be this side. Yep. Then the bottom, I have this one. All the flowers of all the tomorrows are in the seeds of today. And this is a four by six as well. So I like that one too. And then one more here. And this one, I just used um, the top of the one that's called uh, I Let Love Grow, which is the top of the this one. And I left this the strip on because I needed it to be four by six, and I only had like a three inch or a three and a half inch piece left. So it's a little different than the other three, but that's okay. There, that's cool. I think I want that guy on, I don't know which one I want on the top. See, it's not folding over pretty. Now it's gonna bug me. I wanted the butterflies on top. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see what my problem is. <laughs> I've got Okay, there, okay. Got the top of my folio in as well. So then you close this, close this, the magnets, hold it down nice, because those other guys were not playing nice. Um, and then you just close this, close this. And I had one more thing I was going to put on, but I don't know if it will. I was going to take my a row of tags. I think it might be too bulky. So I was just going to go like this, accordion fold them. I was going to put it here, but I think it's going to be too bulky. Oh, it might not be. Okay, let's do that. So what I did was I took a row of the tags from the tag sheet and I just left them all together and I just cut in the middle. And then what I did was I took my crocodile, I punched the hole here in the tag. Um, then what? I just got some twine. And so depending how much twine you take will depend on how many times you can fold it over. So I just take it and I fold it in half and fold it in half. And I think that might be, that'll be too short. So that'll have to be it. So then I take these two ends with the folded part and I stick it in the hole from the front. And then put it, the, the loose ends through the loops. Like this. Yeah, I shouldn't have cut it so long. Now just trim it off. And there, so I think I get my phone folder. Squish these down a little bit more. Nice and folded. So then on here, you could put, uh, like on these tags on the back, you could put like um, dates or like a little bit of journaling. Uh, for your what you have in the book. And 
and I'm going to put a piece of ribbon. So I can tie it closed. Should I put this one? Yeah, I think I'll put this one. Okay, put a piece of ribbon. Now I want to make sure I don't get a piece of tape bigger than my um, tags because otherwise you're going to see it. I'll put this on. more tape on. I think I cut it too big. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get it off of the ribbon. Where's my thing? Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this thing should help me pick it up. My pokey tool, I call it. There we go. And because it's quite an interactive piece, I'm going to put tape on the tag as well. And I'm just going to adhere the bottom one. Because I want the rest to be able to open up. And then you can put like pictures on here if you want or like whatever you like. More bling. Okay. There we go. So there, ta-da! Ooh, that worked good. Now, if you really wanted to and were feeling ambitious, you could put two on, like, because the tags come with three rows of tags. So you could put two side by side and then, um, and then just tie them up together. So then you just have a little tie there. I don't need it quite that long. So that'll hold that. Um, now, like I said, I did cut, I had one journal page left, so I can stick that over here in my little pocket here from the journal pages. Um, then I did cut out some other tags that I liked, and so I thought I would just stick some ribbon on and just stick them in the pocket. And then I cut this off of one of the tags as well. So like if you didn't have any ephemera, you could totally cut out the stuff on the, on the papers and use them. So this was a tag here. I cut that off and like you could cut that little bunny out if you wanted. Um, and I thought I would just stick it here as a decoration for, for an ephemera piece, right? Rather than having to buy all the ephemera. If you didn't have any ephemera and you wanted to make one of these. And then if you had any like words or you could just stick them here. Like if you wanted to cut out life is so lovely, you could stick that there. Um, yeah, but these were more, or live simply. But these were more springy, so I didn't want to do too much with that. So that goes there. So cool. So it's a little, Got a little bit of bulk, but that's okay. So then you just tie it here. And voila! You could tie it a little tighter if you wanted to. Okay, maybe I will. It's a little loose. I actually like that mint ribbon with that paper. Hmm. Voila! <laughs> So that, thanks Liz, that is um, making a folio out of pages that are supposed to go into a bigger folio. So cute and fun and uh, simple 
and you could like great little great little gift thanks linda thanks everybody so thank you for tuning in and joining me on this extra day of the year i appreciate that um i hope you enjoyed what i made and uh, for any if you see anything that you like that i use tonight you can just go to um classact.ca and click on um, shop now and um, inspirational Thursdays and then all the stuff I use should be there or just go take a look at everything and shop to your little heart's content so thank you everyone I hope you have a great rest of your evening and a great weekend and until next time happy crafting <laughs>